Hi everyone, I welcome you to the presentation of this video on uh, balancing of rotating masses in the mechanics of machines. So my focus here is on uh, balancing of several masses which are rotating in the same plane. Okay, so this is a scenario where you be, you have a reference phase. From there you have a mass from uh, located at radius one, which has a given value there, and you have an angle from the reference phase. So I'm calling my reference phase here as ref, which is this one. Okay, you can have another mass, let's call mass number two, situated at radius code R2. So this mass we are calling it M2. Obviously, it's subtending that angle, theta 2. You can have another mass extended at the radius of R3. That mass we can call it M3. And then there's an angle of, let's call theta 3, and maybe another one there mass 4 the radius of r4 from the reference phase are there so we are trying to balance these masses so the procedure is you need okay that one has an angle like that so you need to find the total horizontal components Ho horizontal components are basically given by the mass of that of that body times its radius multiplied by the cosine of the angle so we get the angle from the reference phase to where it's touching that mass okay so you do for all of them for this mass you get m1 which is this one it's r which is r1 times cosine that angle plus you go to m2 the r times m2 times cosine of that then you just do all the summations there that will give you the total horizontal components for the total vertical components it's the same except where you're putting uh, cosines you are putting sine this time around once you find the total horizontal component and total vertical components, you now find the magnitude of the balancing mass. Magnitude of the balancing mass is basically given by m, which is the mass of the balancing mass, times r, which is the radius of the balancing mass. Once you multiply those, this is basically equal to the square root of the uh, square the square root of the square of the total horizontal components plus the total vertical components. And then there is another factor you need to find there which is the angle between the balancing mass and the reference so that balancing mass and the reference the angle between them is basically found by the tan inverse of the total vertical component divided by the to total horizontal component okay on the next page let's look at an example okay so in this example you are saying three discs which uh, a b and c they have masses 5 kg 7 kg and 12 kg these three are rotating at a spindle, about a spindle, at a point O in the same plane at the radius of. So the radius of A is 120 millimeters, the radius of B is 105 millimeters, and the radius of C is 70 millimeters. So the rotation speed of the spindle is 144 revs per minute. This one will not even use it because it will cancel at the end. So the angular positions measured from position uh, from board A are, so we have, so now here our reference is A. So you are measuring these angles from A, which is the reference. So A is the reference. We have B, which is 70 degrees away from A. And then we have C, which is 30 degrees away from A, like that. So this is the pictorial view of whatever they are saying there, respectively. Therefore, calculate the magnitude of the balancing mass at the radius of 150 millimeters. So they want us to find the magnitude of the balancing mass but the radius of this balancing mass has been given to be 150 millimeters they are also asking us to calculate the angle between the balancing mass and the body okay so following the procedures from our previous slide this is basically uh, so our total horizontal component will basically be the radius of uh, mass a times its mass so mass a has 5 kg its radius is 120 which are these 120 times 5 times the cosine a being the reference it's not tilting at any angle so the angle there is zero degrees that's the zero you have there plus we are adding uh must be must be has got a mass of 5 kg uh, of 7 kg which is this 7 times the radius with 105 which is that one you multiply that by cosine of the angle so the angle there is 70 that's the one you have there if you do for c you're going to have that once you have those values, add them together, it's, it's going to give you 626.4 kg millimeters. Because these uh, masses are in kg and the radius is in millimeters, you have that. If you do the same for vertical components, where there are cosines, they are just put signs, 
add them together you are going to produce this 958.79 kg millimeters as the total vertical components okay therefore we can find the magnitude of the balance in mass by the formula which i gave on the previous slide mass of the balancing mass times the radius of the balancing mass is basically the square root of the square of total horizontal component plus total vertical components so total horizontal and total vertical we have them these are the ones when you put them in there you find the square root you're going to have that this is a product of mass of the balancing mass and the radius of the balancing mass but from the question there they gave us the radius of the balancing mass which is 150 millimeters so from this you just sub, uh, divide the radius you'll be able to calculate the mass so that is that divided by the radius of 150 millimeters you're going to have this as your mass of the balancing mass and then two is asking about the angle between the balancing mass uh, and, and body a so that angle is given by an inverse of the total vertical components of a total horizontal components total vertical components are these total horizontal components are those when you divide them and then you find an inverse it's going to give you 56.8 degrees this marks the end of this presentation. Thank you.